here's how much right wingers care about freedom of speech. A person who is in support of the Palestinian people tried to say something at an event held by Greg Abbott in Texas, so they decided to assault him. <laughs> It's funny how these people pretend to be against anti-Semitism when the right wing constantly spews anti-Semitic stuff. Look at people like Nick Fuentes, who openly supports Hitler. Kanye West, who openly supports Hitler. Uh, Kanye got on a circuit of like right wing news uh, shows about how much he loves Hitler, and then he constantly got right-wingers that are blaming, like, Jewish people for controlling the world and why it's so bad, or how Jewish people control Hollywood and they're making movies to uh, destroy the United States. <laughs> All right, how we doing? <laughs> yeah, and, and Greg Abbott just allowed it to happen. He allowed his base to assault people for using or attempting to use their freedom of speech. Because Greg Abbott is also not a supporter of free speech. And it definitely was not just being manhandled. He was hit and punched and assaulted. You know, this video probably could be used to support his case of assault by these people. Well, no surprise that on X, they're praising the assault of this dude since he's pro-Palestinian. Though it's also funny because X is now full of just Nazis supported by Musk, who is also a Nazi. What didn't Musk uh, praise a Twitter user for uh, saying something anti-Semitic? And it's not like any of these people actually care about Jewish people. If they would, if they did, they would call out people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who claims that Jewish people are using space lasers to cause forest fires, or when other people claim that like George Soros is like funding everything to make the U.S. more liberal or whatever. Those people would be called out, but. They don't get called out, but once you start criticizing the Israeli government for a genocide, that's when these uh, Zionists come out in support of the Israeli government, because all they want to see, uh, Zionists in the United States, all they want to see is the uh, end of the world happen via the Bible and a bunch of people get killed.
against a lot of people in support of Palestine and against the uh, genocide. Anybody in their right mind should be against the genocide of the Israeli government, especially if you're against genocide anywhere else. Joe Biden can't hide, we charge you with a genocide. Yeah, because Joe Biden is supporting a genocide. And anybody who says from the river to the sea is a call for genocide by the Palestinian people. What does it mean when right-wingers in Israel say the same phrase? Does that, does that mean they're calling for a genocide of the Palestinian people? Free, free Palestine! Yeah, what do you call a government that is committing genocide against people? Isn't that terrorism? What do you call it when a government uh, and gives arms to people so that they can go somewhere? kill people and take their land. Is that not terrorism?